Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, got an interesting one for you here today. This is the uh, Drumhead Shootout. Been wanting to do this one for quite a while. Uh, knew this one was gonna be a lot of work and yeah, it turns out it was a lot of work. Um, we shot out like 14 different drum heads from various manufacturers. We got Remos, we got Evans, we got Aquarians. I'd like to give a special th shout out to the staff at Aquarian Drum Heads for getting on board with this. Uh, they're a little difficult to find uh, where I live because I'm in a small city. Um, my local music retailer doesn't carry Aquarians, so uh, they were very gracious in supplying us a bunch of different heads to try out, so very cool. Uh, just how we ran the test, you know, we did a very dead simple beat. Uh, just wanted to hear the differences in the snare sound, not show off any kind of chops or stick work or any kind of that. Just very simple beat. Um, one snare head to the next. We used the uh, digital drum, drum dial here, which is just a fantastic tool for keeping the drums in tune. And uh, we tuned every head to the same tuning, which uh, same numeric value, which was 90. I found it very interesting that the pitches would vary from head to head depending on the thickness. So that, that was something I really didn't know about. So, you know, learn something new every day. Anyway, so here we go, uh, 14 snare heads back to back. The snare we used was my Pork Pie Big Black Brass Snare, which came in uh, second place in the snare shootout. We didn't use my favorite, which is the Steve Smith because that has European tuners and uh, it's just, it's a lot easier to do snare head uh, changeouts with uh, using the Evans uh, Power uh, Drum Key um, thing you plug into your drill, it just makes things life so much simpler. Anyway, so like I said, uh, use the pork pie, big black brass, pretty cool snare drum. Like I said, it's pretty interesting to see just the variances and sounds we get based on whatever head we're using. Here we go. <laughs> 